Hi friends, happy Tuesday. Welcome back to your phonemic awareness lesson for today. Today for your lesson, you will need your synonyms activity sheet from your packet. This one says synonyms two. You will also need scissors and a glue stick. So go ahead and pause the video and grab the materials that you need. All right, friends, welcome back. Today we're gonna to continue working on synonyms. So our learning target again is I can identify the synonyms of words. That means you're gonna be able to look at a word and then find another word that means the same thing. So yesterday we looked at some words that were synonyms on our activity sheet and some flashcards together. So let's review those. I have a picture of somebody that's happy. Can you show me your happy face? What is a synonym that we learned yesterday to happy? What's another way we can say happy? Glad, another word for happy is glad. Can you show me your glad face? Very good, happy and glad are synonyms. Let's say that together. Happy and glad are synonyms. Very good job. Let's take a look at our next one. Ooh, can you show me your mad face? Mm. What's another word that we learned that we could use for mad? What's a synonym? Angry, very good. Show me your angry face. So mad and angry are synonyms. Can you say that with me? Mad and angry are synonyms. Good, that means they mean the same thing, but they're just different words. All right, now, this is the word dad. Can you say that with me? Dad. Another word for dad is father. Can you say that with me? Father. Dad and father are synonyms. Can you say that with me? Dad and father are synonyms. That means they mean the same thing, but have different words to mean the same thing. Today we're going to look at some different words that are synonyms. This is something I love to do. This is the word run. Can you say that with me? Run. A synonym for the word run is jog. Can you guys say the word jog? Can you run and jog with me? Very good. Stop. Now we're going to say run and jog are synonyms. Can you say that? Run and jog are synonyms. That means the same thing, but different words. I'm going to put them up here. All right. Ooh, look at this. I have a picture of a whale. Are whales small? Are they big? Whales are big. Another word for big is large. Yep, very good, large. Big and large are synonyms. So if I saw a whale at the aquarium, I could say, hey mom, look, there's a big whale. Or I could say, hey mom, look, there's a large whale. That means the same thing. So my mom would know if she looked, she'd see a really big whale or a really, really large whale. So big and large are synonyms, okay? Last one. We have small. Another word for small is tiny. Can you guys say that with me? Tiny. So small and tiny are synonyms. Tiny is another word that we could use to describe something that is small. I could say, look at that teeny tiny ant, or I could say, look at that small ant. Both things mean the same thing, but they're two different words. They're synonyms, okay? So let's take a look at our activity sheet. We have the same words that we learned today on our activity sheet but different pictures. So we see a boy running, we see an ant, and we see a whale. We have different words that are labeled here that have synonyms at the bottom. So the boy running has the word run next to it. The ant has the word tiny next to it, and the whale has the word large next to it. But there's other ways that we can label those pictures using different words that mean the same thing. So on your paper, let's say you drew this picture of the boy running, you might label, oh, run, but your friend may, may label it something else. So let's figure out what that is. So run, we're looking for the synonym. Is run the same as small? No. Is run the same as big? No. Is run 
the same as jog? Yes, run and jog mean the same thing. So we're gonna use our scissors to cut out the word jog. Remember, when we use our scissors, we stick our thumb in the eyeball of the alligator, we stick our three fingers in the bottom, and we cut away from our body. The alligator always eats the lines of our paper. So I turn my paper with my other hand. My scissors only move up and down with this hand. All right, so I'm gonna cut out my jog square. And I'm gonna glue that square inside the square next to the boy running to label it. So another word for run is jog, and I'm gonna put it next to the boy that's running by adding some glue to the back and then sticking that square inside the empty square next to the boy, like a puzzle, okay? So now we have run and jog. So for the rest of your activity today, I want you to look at each picture, cut out the synonym and glue it next to the picture it belongs, okay? Great job today, friends, working on your synonyms. We'll continue working on that the rest of the week. Keep up the great work and I'll see you tomorrow.